through the dark and rainy night searching for the cows. About a dozen had run off when the storm hit. That's why I was out. I'd just as soon stayed in my bunk, dreaming my cowboy dreams, but here I was, cold and wet, tracking cows down a swollen stream. I had to strike a match now and again to make sure they hadn't turned. I kept hoping they would, because straight ahead was what we called the burn. The burn was a real hell hole that caught fire a few years back. A big old canyon with tangled brush and snags standing stark and black. Well, about four miles on down the creek was the end of our little spread. And when I reached the boundary fence, what I saw filled me with dread. You could see where that old lead cow had busted right on through the fence and led that little herd across the creek to where the burn was dark and dense. I sat my horse and shivered a little, wondering what I should do. Oh, I knew the answer, but my mind rebelled and my body did too. I knew what was coming, and I cried to God, why do I have to go now? down into that awful burn to save just a few old cows. But I made myself kick that horse and we headed down the hill. And he wanted to go home and so did I. Away from the dark night's chill, I had to trust my faithful friend to lead me into that place. I felt the blood begin to flow as the branches wet my face. I couldn't see a dang thing in the dark, so I started riding real low. I put one hand out in front of me to try and shield the blows. Though I considered myself a cowboy, from the day that I was born, I know exactly what a dude feels like, cause I grabbed that For the first time in a long time, my gut tightened up with fear. I'd never been this far down the burn, but the bottom had to be near. So I pulled back as hard as I could on the reins, just hoping my horse could stop. I felt his muscles bunch up under him till I was afraid the cinch would pop. Well, he finally got his legs under him again, and we both stood there breathing hard. I didn't know where to go next, so I breathed a little prayer to God. I don't know why I'm so surprised when he answers a man's call. But I know he does, and I knew he had, because I heard a calf ball. It must have been the rain making my cheeks so wet, since cowboys never cry. <laughs> I just sat there and waited for the next lightning bolt to brighten up the sky. It didn't take long for that next flash to come, and there stood that little herd. My horse turned right toward him without me having to say a word. But we both knew what was next, and we both knew it would be rough. Some of those cows wouldn't want to be saved and convincing them might be tough. But I had decided, while still on top, to finish this job or die trying. But if I tell you the task was easy, you'll know that I was lying. It's kind of funny how a person thinks when a situation is in doubt. Here I was in a real tight spot with me and my horse plumb tuckered out, sitting in the dark and the cold and the rain, just hoping we'd live through the night. When I began to contemplate on the spiritual side of life, I started wondering why things in life always seem to be so hard, and why doing what's right can sometimes hurt and leave a person bruised and scarred. And I asked myself if I could have stayed upon the canyon's rim and let those cows just stay lost and not go 
down to that. And like the Latin bolts that were brightening up and lighting up the place, I saw the answer as plain as day, right in front of my face. Why, I've been the one out there in the dark, headed down toward the burn, like those cows. I didn't want to be saved. And I didn't want to be turned, and I too had a savior come. But not on a horse like me. No, my savior wasn't sitting in a saddle. He was hanging on a tree, and just like me, he'd made a choice before he ever started down to find the strays and do whatever it took to get them turned around. And he too because he knew it would be so hard. Then he set his face straight ahead. He went and he finished the job. Here I was, trying to get some cows back to the ranch again. Jesus Christ came down from heaven to save me from my sin. All these thoughts went through my mind in just a few seconds time. Right then, I didn't care if cowboys aren't supposed to cry. My spirit soared, and I kicked that horse. We headed toward the cows. All of a sudden, things weren't near as bad, and I knew we'd make it out. Yeah, those cows knew just what to do when I gave them my cowboy shout. The rain stopped and the storm moved on and even the stars came out. I'd like to tell you that I saved that herd, but that would be a lie. I had help coming out of that canyon, but I was just along for the ride. Well, I look back on that night now and again and I say a little prayer, thanking God for letting me live and have a story to share. You see, life has lots of ups and downs, but there's one lesson to learn. We all need a savior to save us from the burn.